Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and these are your money, career, finance, focus reading for the sun, moon and the rising sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, please keep in mind that this is your group general reading, money, career, finance, focus reading for the next three months, April, May and June 2023. It's a group reading, so please pick it up what resonates with you, please leave the rest for others. And in case you want to connect with me for a personal private reading or a healing process, especially for people who are new to the channel, I welcome all of you to Delhi Tarot. And yes, if you are applying for any personal private reading, please do mention your country time zone is very important for me to fix up your live reading or you, rec or you want the recorded reading, whatever you may like. And all personal private readings are paid readings. Please connect with me with that understanding. I really appreciate that. And if you really like what I do on the channel, please do like, subscribe the channel and put on the notifications. Now I'm going to pull out the cards, the oracle cards for each month, April, May and June 2023. And now I'm going to pull out the fairy messages. Oh my goodness. The cards are just falling. April. Okay, we have got two cards. May and June. You might hear few noises. A lot of kids are playing around. But I do not want to delay this reading. And please bear with me in case, in case you hear some kids' noises. April, May and June. And let me see the cards, the clarifying one, April, May, and June. Okay, let us see what messages do we have for all the three months. And this is going to be, I started this with the short readings, but then it got into an extended readings. For April, it says, look at the bigger picture. And it's a full moon in Sagittarius, your own birth sign. This means this birthday is going to be a very, very special birthday for you, Sagittarius people. This particular time, this particular birthday is going to give you great wisdom. And I do feel that you are going to achieve something really big, something really marvelous in this particular year, birth year. And when I say look at the bigger picture, if you are going through a lot of new experiences, a lot of new challenges, a lot of new things are happening, this is just to give you more wisdom. This is just to give you more maturity and more experience from all aspects of life. This is a very, very prominent card into your reading because I do sense that you are going through lots and lots of different kind of changes. I will not count that to be ups and downs. But I will count that to be a different kind of experience or exposure which you never expected. You know, a lot of things are happening for the first time into your life. And this is happening because time, the divine, the universe, the nature is preparing you for something bigger and better to receive in near future. So it's, it's preparing you to have that kind of wisdom, have that kind of growth, have that kind of maturity to handle what you're going to receive that big time in time to come. And it is time to replace the old network, old job with a new one, old business with a new business, old connect with the new connect. It is primarily that you are moving into a different set of work, different set of people to work with, different professional outlook to work for. And that is why the card says, I'm sorry for my throat. It says goodbye to the old, hello to the new. You have finished one part of your life and now you're going to enter into a new and even a much bigger and better part of your life and the beginning is now. This card says it all that it's time for you to have a transformation. It's time for you to have that leap and it's time for you to have that change into your life, professional change, career change, career leap, you know, the overall situation of your professional life is going to change. And I also see that the kind of investments you will be making, a lot of you will be selling something new and you will be investing in a different style from now. 
and that is a very prominent message from this card but overall you will be moving into a different new uh, outlook of your professional life and the card from goddess oracle is sensitivity and it says you are becoming increasingly sensitive avoid harsh relationship environment situation and chemicals and it is the time when you know you need to keep a watch on your tone body language in your professional life how you talk how you present it's very important avoid any miscommunication harsh communication and it is also telling do not fall a trap into any kind of quarrel argument disagreement uh, do not be aggressive what i'm sensing from the card even if you feel that the other person is not in alignment with you it's it's it will be wise to withdraw from that communication it will be wise for you to withdraw from that situation completely and the cards which is clarifying the two cards is three of wands and king of pentacles and it's a presence of your own energies aries leo sagittarius energies and three of wands is a beautiful card which says that now is the time when you are going to see visibly see the result the resolutions the outcome of your hard work in the past if you see this card closely you have these wands at your back this means whatever hard work was supposed to be done into your professional life to make it happening to make it stable to make it growing you have already done that and now you are looking far sighted because now you want to plan for something bigger something long lasting something which is going to stay with you for rest of your life or something which is going to be that much stable that it is going to give you materialistic fruits till rest of your life so you have actually done the core the basic hard work already and now you are making your future or you are building something new which is going to be your long term assignment or a long lasting assignment of work and the beautiful card is king of pentacles is the second clarifier and it is a taurus virgo capricorn energy and it says whatever you have been building for yourself that is going to really fetch good money to you sagittarius there is no doubt about it king of pentacles says that the kind of luxury flexibility comfort great money whatever you need you are definitely going to get it for sure and it is going to make you in a very very comfortable zone of work it is you drawing all the money all the name all the fame all the big materialistic you know abundance for sure because king of pentacle is a situation wherein you come to a very comfortable zone and especially related to money or the financial you know robustness or the stability or the security the financial stability which we have in our life so king of pentacle is a that stable situation and you have a brilliant reading but then this is going to happen with the new stuff you are going to replace with so one when you are you know replacing the old with the new the new is the result of your hard work whatever you are building right now and that new is going to give you this big time money for sure now let us see what messages do we have in the month of may and we have what is it you need to release sagittarius what is it you need to leave the control with let the let the person situation you know replace that job replace that business something which is giving you hard burn heart pain something which is draining your energy completely something which is you know which is not helping you to grow or pulling you back or even for a lot of you you feel that oh i'm doing work for 18 hours 20 hours in a day but then the time money and energy i'm investing it is not repaying me back and you are getting hurt about it you need to release that whether it's a it's a it's a tangible thing or a you know non tangible thing you need to release it you, i mean i mean to say tangible or intangible you need to release it because you need to replace that with something new and the cards we have in the fairy messages is a card of holiday and it says the answers you are looking for can be found during a vacation retreat or holiday gateway and it's time for you to express your individuality 
allow your true self to shine because you are awesome and this says that yes it's time for you to come up with what you feel into your professional life do what you are really passionate about doing do what really interests you you know and you are definitely going to get that beautiful bread and butter the lifetime of saving from something which you are really passionate about doing however the card of holiday is insisting to take some time off for your overall rest mental emotional and physical rest and the oracle card we have is don't back down stand up for what you believe is and this is also the card which is repeating express your individuality it says allow yourself to shine because you are awesome and the meaning of these cards is be assertive be very clear into your communication whatever you feel be assertive just stand up for your belief system if you feel like doing something professionally in the month of may say yes if you feel this money deal is not right for me i don't want to invest there financially i don't want to take up this project i do not want to take up that business proposal be clear with that stick to what you are really feeling and stand up for your own belief system professionally in the month of may and the cards which is clarifying the oracle situation is the devil and the empress two major arcana cards two major energies major events major circumstances which is going to happen in the month of so this month you have the energy of devil and temperance now these two cards are also a sign of some negativity it could be your own negative thoughts your own negative patterns it could be you attracting fetching that negativity from the environment it could be anything so the card of devil is definitely a card of setting priorities for yourself it tells that it's time for you to set priority for what you want in life professionally and the card of temperance says that it's time for you to be very very cautious take one step at a time don't run don't rush do not take any aggressive or an ad hoc decision when you say the card of temperance is appearing into your reading you have to be very careful at each and every step once you take step 1 be comfortable analyze it properly see the pros and cons and then move to step number 2 but when you have this kind of tarot card combination it is 100% sure sagittarius that you are attracting some negativity either from self or from people or from you know from people around you and i'm very clear about it now let us see what messages do we have for the month of june and we have a time to give rather than take and it is a new moon in virgo which says that before you complete something near your birthday which is full moon in sagittarius you might begin full fledge something very near to virgo season or before virgo season so when i say virgo season we are talking about september so you can start planning your things from april starting and by virgo season you may see that you are finally launching your idea you are finally putting your idea into reality you are finally sowing the seed of your creativity of your innovation and by full moon in sagittarius you see that results are coming out the initial phase is over the resolution is coming the solutions are visible so this new moon this virgo is a very beautiful time period into your reading which says that by virgo season by september i do feel by august end you will be ready to start implementing all your ideas all your plans into action for sure and the other fairy card is daughter now since this is a money career finance reading it says any profession which is related to children kids students is really going to help you and nurture your professional life a lot it could be related to tutoring it could be related to mentoring coaching counseling orphanages schools colleges you know anything related to ngos related to kids anything any sort of profession related to this is a signal for you because that is going to make you closer to your life purpose and the oracle card message oh my goodness even we have received this for leo i guess i mean goddess lakshmi is goddess lakshmi is very much i was i was saying goddess saraswati goddess saraswati is known for creativity and innovation and i don't know why i why i was sounding goddess saraswati along with goddess lakshmi i think uh, when i say creation and innovation 
the angel goddess Saraswati came as a presence to my mind. And yes, she is the goddess of creativity. May God bless you with all her blessings. But goddess Lakshmi is definitely for seeing the real materialistic money, the bright future from your own naked eyes. And it says, stop worrying. She's there to shower her blessings on you. And everything is going to be absolutely fine as far as your money, career, finances goes. Now let us see what cards do we have in clarification for the month of June. And we have page of wands, a related message, phone call, email, intimation that yes, you will be moving on to a new journey. It is what you are needing at that in the month of June, what you need the most, the relevant message, the call, the email, the project details, the yes to your jobs or maybe to your business, you are going to get that message for sure. And the other card is Nine of Cups. Amazing. It's a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, full of wish fulfillment. The card which is closest to Ten of Cups, which brings huge happiness into anyone's life. And since this is a money, career, finance reading, Goddess Lakshmi is going to ensure that this is your wish fulfillment job a needed business success, needed money. So whatever your wish is, Goddess Lakshmi will definitely bless you with that. I claim this because this card is a follow-up card for the Oracle card. Do let me know how you got resonated with the reading. I really enjoyed doing your reading. It was a brilliant money career finance reading. Do let me know how you resonated with the reading. And I will see you next time very soon. Be blessed.